Good morning everyone. We are going to play a little game in maths today. So for this game at home, you will need two dice if you have them. If not, I've put a little link in the assignment section, which is an interactive dice, so you can use that instead. Just make sure you change the sentence. I've explained how to do it so that the dice doesn't show the numbers, but the dots instead. And you will need a number track. Now you have in your packs got a number line to 10. This one goes to 12, so it's probably better if it goes a little bit further, maybe to 12 or 15, just because then the game will take a little bit longer. And if you haven't got one, which you probably won't, you can just make one really quickly, just draw in some squares, maybe use the line pit, the um, square paper in the maths book to help. So let's have a little look at what's going to happen. So we're going to start with our crab down here. So he's going to roll the dice. So off we go. Two dice rolled. So have a look. One dice shows how many? Two. And the other dice shows two as well. So we're going to have to add those up. Now, if you want, you can use your tens frame that is in your pack to help you with this. So for example, there is two on one dice, two on the other. Put them on your tens frame. How many all together? One, two, three, four. So therefore, the crab gets to move four places. The count is going to move one, two, three, and four places. So at home, you can use anything as a counter. You can use the coins that was suggested before, um, anything in the house that you think can be a counter. It's absolutely fine. Improvision is the key. Right, now our tortoise is going to have a go and roll the dice. So off he goes, and he's rolled the number two on one and one on the other. So remember, we can put on our tens frame two counters and another one and work out how many all together. One, two, three. So therefore our tortoise gets to move three places. Who's going to be in the lead? Do you think the tortoise is going to be in the lead or do you think the crab is going to be in the lead? Have a guess, let's see if you're right. Let's move, so he gets to move one place two place, three places. So you're right, our crab is in the lead because number four is bigger than the number three. Right, next it's the crab's turn again. So roll its dice. We've got one on one dice, one on the other, one and another one makes two. So then the red counter gets to move two places. One, two, super duper. Right, next. Roll the dice. So we've got a number four on one of them. There's four dots, one, two, three, four. And then how many dots on this one? Two, so four and two. So I'm going to get my tens frame. One, two, three, four for one dice and another two for the other one. How many have I got all together? One, two, three, four, five and six. So I can move six places. Where do you think it's going to land on? Which counter? Where's the counter going to get to if it moves six places? You have a little guess now. Right, let's see if you're right. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So now who's in the lead? Our tortoise is in the lead now, isn't he? So let's have a little go. That'll be the crab's turn now. Roll the dice. What numbers are on the dice? Shout them out for me. Got three on one and three on the other side. I've got my three on for one. I'm gonna put three more on. There you go. How many have I got? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So our red counter is going to move six places forward. What number do you think it will land on? See if you can work it out. Who do you think will be in the lead now? Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five and six. So that means the crab has won the race. He has managed to get from the start all the way to the end first. 
So he has won the race. So now it is your turn. So you need to make a number track. You need two dice or even just one dice, but you could roll it twice. And if you haven't got dice in the, in the house, that's fine. Click on the link that is in the assignments page and you'll be able to find an interactive dice to use. And then you need two counters and really pens frames with your bits of Lego or Play-Doh or coins, anything you want to use as counters to help you add up. You might be able to do it in your head. Let's have a see. So for example, on here, we've got two and then a one. You might go, well, all together there's one, two, three. So you might be able to just count that way. But remember, this is always here if you need that extra help. So send some photos of me playing your game. I'd love to see. And let's see, challenges, who can just look at the dice and know exactly what number's on it? Who can maybe guess what number they'll end up on the track once they've moved that, those places? So have a little play around and see who wins. You might have a brother or sister to play with. You might play with your grown-up. Have a go and remember to send me your photos when you are finished.